Hi Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. I'm here with another Saturday Song Study. This week we're going to be doing House of the Rising Sun. I've been listening to the Animals version of this track, so I've tabbed out the song based on that version. Uh, the song is in A minor um, when they did it, so I've got a G harmonica which is going to help us play along in that key. So if you find it on YouTube or you've got it on record, you can play along on your G harmonica. Uh, let's get straight on with the tab and get into it. I've tabbed out two verses, let's start with the first one, uh, and I'll just play the line and then we'll go through the tab. So, uh, the tab for the first line, 4 draw, 4 draw, 5 blow, 5 draw, 6 draw, 6 blow, 4 draw, 4 draw. And that's, there is a house in New Orleans. I'll just play that once more. And again once more, just for good luck. Okay, so next line, 8 draw, 8 draw, 8 draw, 7 blow, 6 draw, and then 6 draw again. There is a 6 blow, which is a possible note, you can choose whether to play it or not, between those two 6 draws, which is why it's in brackets on the screen. Um, so that's a, they call a rising sun. If you add in the six blow, it sounds like this. So you get that. They call a rising sun, in sun. Kind of bends down. You could actually also, if you've got the bending technique on that six draw, you could just bend that note. which sounds nice and bluesy, so that's the option, that's an option as well. Um, next line, uh, 8 draw, 8 draw, 8 draw, so it starts with 3 8 draws, just as the last one did. 5 blow, 5 draw, 5 draw, and then we have 6 draw, 6 blow, 4 draw, 4 draw, 4 draw. That's quite a long line, so I'll play through this a few times just so you get a sense of that. And again. And once more. I tried to follow the words um, syllable by syllable, so it, each note should correspond to one. So the first three eight draws at the start there and it's been, and then it jumps down to the ruin, and it's been the ruin. Of many a poor boy. I just realised you could add an extra four draw in the end there if you want to follow uh, ex the exact syllables of the word because I think I've just put two four draws for the final A poor boy. Um, and the final line of this verse, uh, four draw, four draw, four draw, four blow. And then a kind of optional note here, if you've got the ability to bend hole three, you could put the second bend on three in there. I'll give you, I'll play you both options. And then we finish four draw, four draw. So the simple version of this line. In God I know I'm one. It does sound nice if you go down and get that second bend on three as well. I actually came back up playing a four blow before the final four draw there. Um, you could do that as well, that's an option as well. Uh, but obviously the simpler version just doesn't have that bend in it. So, uh, on to the second verse. Second verse is um, higher, so we're going to start up on a higher note for this one. 
um, and then it comes down later. So uh, the first line, my mother was a tailor, 8 draw, 8 draw, 8 draw, 7 blow, 6 draw, 6 blow, 4 draw. My mother was a tailor. I'll just play that again. And once more. Okay. Next line. 8 draw, 8 draw, 7 blow, 6 draw, 6 draw. Sold my new blue jeans. I did a little bit of a dwa kind of uh, actually almost making that shape with my mouth dwa dwa in order to get the that little sort of bend on the sixth draw there. Um, I've only it's quite a minimalist uh, interpretation of this line. You could add some extra notes in there. You could play uh, again, which we talked about in the first verse. You could play six draw, six blow, six draw, or you could bend the six draw in between. Uh, it's up to you. Um, the next line: uh, My father was a gambling man. Eight draw, eight draw, eight draw. Uh, seven blow, six draw, six blow, four draw, five draw. And again. And once more. And the final line, down in New Orleans, four draw, four draw, four blow, and then again you could play the second man on three, four draw, four draw. So the simpler version. Or you could play with that three draw second bend. Or you could replace that penultimate note with a four blow, so you could go Four, three draw second bend, four blow, four draw. That would be a nice way to finish. Sorry. You got that run up. Quite nice. Uh, so that's the two verses. Um, all that's left is for me to play them both together just to finish us off so you can hear how it all sounds together. Hope this Saturday Song Study has helped you this week. I'm going to be back next week with another tune. If you've liked the video, please like it and uh, subscribe to the channel because there's going to be more coming soon. Take care. Cheers.